Hey everybody, I'm Rob. And I'm Lori Marie Jenkins. And we are artists who live, live in, in Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Uh, today we were at the waterfalls. We'll tell you more about that later. And I'm like, we live in Costa Rica. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Yeah. Pretty yeah. amazing. We are walking back and it was just so, so nice. We were surrounded by uh, beautiful gingers and heliconias and flowers. And it was just like, I love this country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty it's, amazing. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Yeah. So we're going to ad lib today or wing it or whatever you want to say. We didn't take she's, any notes. She's winging it. <laughs> I'm winging it. Mm -hmm. So hmm, we've been around the house doing some planting. You want to talk about all the gorgeous plants? Yeah. It's um, one thing that's really amazing that we're finding because we're both pretty avid gardeners. Um, Ava Gardner. <laughs> Ava Gardner. <laughs> 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 We're not both Ava Gardner. Jeez. <laughs> oh, She's Ava Gardner. <laughs> how, how quickly we digress. Yes. And, um, but there is so much here that is uh, relatively easy to grow that we find. I mean, we've, we've bought specific things. We've bought specific fruit trees that we wanted. But like today we brought back, I don't know, six plants from our walk. Oh, and yeah. Three of them right. were a beautiful uh, purple and pink ginger. It's like a spiral ginger that we don't currently have. And there were just little trimmings. And then we also got some ground cover with a beautiful purple flower on it. It looks like an African violet. Yes. It would be uh, very similar to an African violet that I would have in my house in Michigan. So mm -hmm. that's what it reminds me of. And she's already planted some of it, but she's got a green um, African violet, whatever this is. And this was variegated, dark and light green. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's so cool. Yeah. Um, and so for us, part of the challenge is just uh, um, where to put everything, because it's you know, for us to have a garden that grows a little bit organically and we don't have it all planned out is pretty normal. But we do want to plan ahead for big things like trees, because uh, I have an orchid tree. Um, so if uh, Winston and Emily, if you guys are watching, the Thank seeds you. Yeah. that you brought Crazy. us, they're all blooming. And well, these are seeds these guys found on the beach. They're sprouted. They're sprouted. My bad. <laughs> they are not blooming yet. See, Ava, Ava Gardner, she knows. <laughs> and we got two fig trees this week. Too, oh my gosh! So I'm and most excited about what else? That. Hmm? Two dragon fruit. Ah, oh, that's two right. Two dragon fruit cactuses. Oh, and that's so interesting. Oh. It's a cactus. It's yeah. It's a I cactus. I had no idea. It's just like the straight cactus that um, makes an umbrella like. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the mesa. Uh, yeah, table. Mesa table, and then it gets these dragon fruits on it. So we're not to that point. I think ours are what about two feet tall now. Which anyway, ones? yeah, the, dra the oh, dragon fruit. <laughs> not even two feet. <laughs> They're just but again, they babies. need they need a space where they can grow, right. and they need full sun. And so we've got, you know, we've got uh, areas, and, and then it's always changing. We're like, what are what are we going to put here? Oh, we already filled that area. <laughs> and you guys have seen how much property we have, so it's gonna. Yeah. Be, you know what? It's not full yet. <laughs> no, no. And there's things there's things that we kind of want closer to the house because they're they're visually stunning. And there's other things down in the orchard. Um, so maybe that's the fruit figs. Tree and stuff and like that. Maybe yeah, that's the figs the, will uh, go down there. Yeah, because the dragon fruits like full sun, mm -hmm. and we're learning about these things as we plant them. But Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it's a gardener's delight here. Mm -hmm. It is. Absolutely. We have two tiny little tomatoes. Right, we did. We harvested <laughs> two little tomatoes. <laughs> Talk about Ava Gardner. <laughs> Try to top that, uh, will you please? Oh, we have some hummingbirds that are... Hummingbird, yes. Uh, dog fights. Aerial ballet. I don't know if you can hear them twittering or not. It's so neat. So we have, we have two, yeah, they are. two hummingbird feeders. One here, one here. And there's two hummingbirds. They can't just pick one. <laughs> they got to fight over them and send each other away. Yeah. It's, oh, well. It's crazy. Okay. And what have you seen in the garden lately? Oh, so in the morning I have a cup of coffee and I frequently uh, walk the uh, food forest and I have been seeing a little agouti almost every morning, hop, 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 and through the, through the orchard. It's very fun. It's very fun to see him. Yep. So. A-G-O-U-T-I, agouti. It's like so. a large uh, guinea pig. Yeah, they're cute. Yeah, oh, so cute. They're and cute. this guy's all brown and... Just hop, hop, hopping along. So we have been told that uh, to take our uh, food scraps, our um, organic food scraps, like from our veggies and fruits and things like that. 
to put those at the base of the banana trees. And so the agouti might be going in for that or it might be going in for some of the um, star fruit that's on the ground. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's nice to see some wildlife. Not very wild, but wildlife. Yeah, it's wildlife. <laughs> They're not domestic. <laughs> yeah. He's... They're not domesticated, I should uh -huh. say. Yeah, it's not very wild. Though. Right. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they're mellow. Uh-huh. Mellow. And, yeah, so uh, we've both been enjoying our home, uh, enjoying the land, enjoying the weather. Um, it's it's amazing how dry this year is compared to last. Absolutely. We've probably both said this before, yeah. but we keep having these amazingly strong-sounding storms. It's all sound and fury, no rain. Right. Like last night, there was thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Just and teasing us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it was supposed to be a, a big tropical wave, yellow alert, and uh, I'm like, please. <laughs> That's right, bring it on. Bring the rain, <laughs> Mr. El Nino. So Tuesday was my Spanish class, mm -hmm. and after class, uh, we hopped into the car and came here and had a little art class. We did eco prints. There was Laura and Hannah and Nancy and myself. Uh, Elena couldn't make it, Helen couldn't make it, and Terry uh, couldn't make it either. So we had a fun little art class. Uh, the boiling of the eco prints takes two hours. So we did that first and then we had our lunch and did a little walk through the food forest and then we got to unfold our packets of eco printing and that was very, very fun. I really enjoyed that day. And today. Today. Today was a uh, fun day. Went down to our, uh, our little secret waterfall in, in Trace Rios, and so the locals know about it. But um, it's it's great. There's a waterfall around every corner, <laughs> and so this one's this one's fun. We got to introduce some other friends of ours uh, to it, and um, but just yeah, nice nice mellow day, and a little bit of a rain. So. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like, what is it with waterfalls and rain? Here. Right, every time we go to waterfall, it rains. <laughs> go to the river, it rains. But <laughs> so that was fun. And then day. on the way back, we settled down on a big, huge rock and had some hummus and chips. Mm -hmm. and a little snackety. A little snack, so that was nice. And that's about it. Well, yeah, you've been you've been in your studio some. Mm -hmm. You've been doing oh, some painting. Yep. I've been in my studio. Um, I'm working on some projects. I'm building a bed for us, Yay. which I will show you when it's done. It's going to be really nice um, but some other just sort of functional product uh, projects we have a, a very tall bed right now so I built a shelf for Hudson mm -hmm. step sort of a step for him to, to hop up on there new bed won't be quite so high they have really high beds in Costa Rica I don't know why I don't know maybe it's for storage underneath or I yep. don't know could be could be I don't know. they are high though some yeah. different different styles and we don't have enough to store under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Tables and chairs all the same. Bed's really high. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting stuff. But, uh, oh, and I, I made a fun little um, organizing rack, I guess, for our uh, rakes and shovels and stuff. It's very nice. Garden equipment. Very, it's very fun. Yeah. Because I didn't really have it, uh, a closet that I could put stuff into, so I built this little portable one so we can move it. Because we got a lot of garden tools. Mm hmm Yeah which is good and that's one thing um, if you have some good garden tools that you like from yeah. the states if you are moving here keep them bring them along bring with you. them along mm -hmm. yes higher quality stuff that's available in the states might not be available here right and um, so you know if you have your favorites there's there's a number of things I got rid of that I thinking I could get them again and I kind of wish I hadn't but mm -hmm. yeah good garden tools hang on to them we have cantaloupe growing. <gasps> we do. Mm -hmm. We have some fun things growing. We, we have, have loofah. We have loofah growing. Loofah. Yeah, you saw that last it's, week. <laughs> it's a bathroom sponge thing. It's a plant. Who knew? <laughs> we have citronella growing. We have mint growing. Chamomile. Chamomile growing. We have, um, oh, what kind of cilantro? Thai cilantro? Thai cilantro. Thai cilantro. Yeah. yeah, so a lot of fun things. We've got orchid trees. We've got peacock flowers. Mm -hmm. um, we've got, oh, we've got hot chili peppers. Oh, yeah. And uh, who knows how many of these things are actually going to make it. Right. <laughs> Some of them might be doing fantastic. But a lot of these are a lot of these are new. And so we'll see, see yep. how this, this first growing season turns out. Right. Flowers and shrubs and things like that, they're easy. Yeah. They're easy. The veg, 
Eh. Although I'm not doing a lot of transplanting now. Like, you know, in the past, I've been able to uh, prune some things and stick the, them right in the uh, ground and watch them grow. It's too dry. I don't want to stress the plants like that. So that may have to wait and see if we get more rain or maybe next rainy season. I don't know. But it's too hard on the, on the transplants. So it stresses them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's only so much time in the days. And we have the bird feeder over here. Yes. So we can see that a little bit better. That's exciting. We will wait until we got a bunch of birds on it, and then and then we'll take a video. Of it. Hopefully, we get birds. Oh, so we had it on the back um, side of the house, and it's it's kind of an art, like placing these things because you don't know where the birds are going to be comfortable, and whether they're going to be comfortable. We didn't have any birds in the casita, and then we brought it here. We haven't had any birds, and it was close to the woods so they could they could fly into the trees if they were alarmed or something but it might have been too close we had more monkeys than birds <laughs> on the bird feeder we had a monkey feeder <laughs> uh, we did have a monkey feeder they loved it and so we moved it out it's just been two days and so we're it's also a little bit easier spot for us to change out the fruit yeah definitely yeah so that's an important thing yeah. and then uh, but there's so many birds here in the morning like i have this merlin uh, bird app and so I just play uh, record, re record the sounds, and it'd be like four or five every morning. And some same, some different, but it's really neat. A lot of them I don't see, I just hear. Oh, oh three hummingbirds all Ooh, at one time. Ooh, big Yay. hummingbird battle. Very all exciting right. stuff. That's Good. about all I got, I That's think. That's about all I got, too. Mm -hmm. It's been a wonderful, wonderful week. So yeah. thank you so much for joining us. We do have some uh, videos to share with you. Yeah, I got some fun stuff. Yeah. All right. You good? Yeah. Me, too. Again, thanks for coming with us. Adios. Ciao. <laughs> okay, just walking out of the driveway. This is, <laughs> this is one of the hills. on our road. There's Hudson and handsome hubby. And we are going to go find some rambutan. There's a tree up here <laughs> that has some. We can't reach them. So we have the picker and the cutter. So here are a couple of the rambutan. These are more of the golden or orange rambutans. So they are way up there. Whoop. There's handsome hubby. And whoop. there's the rambutan. So we shall see. Can you hear the birds? They're like, those are my rambutan. Going in for them. I have one in my mouth, they're so sweet. So my job is to <laughs> chase them on the ground when I'm not doing a video. Good job. Yay. The only way to get them up high. We got a fun little treat for everybody today. So um, I think we might've shown you the mango steens from our tree before. Um, so we have been getting them on a regular basis, a little bit small, uh, but color's perfect. I think they're, they're nice and ripe. And I also just had to show you this while we're at it, our bowl of eyeballs. <laughs> so these are all rambutans. Remember the guys with the little, uh, the fuzzy shells. And these are all from a tree, uh, that's on our dog walk. So I took our little, um, uh, picker and was able to get a whole bunch out of it. I think we got a video of that. Oh, fun, fun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, so it's I really peeled good. those. That's why they look like eyeballs. Right. This is the inside. This is the fruit with the seed inside. Nice and sweet. And um, so I wanted to show you guys the mangosteen. Usually has four leaves up here. And so it's it's a kind of a hard shell. And so we usually just use fingernails, kind of seam it like that. And um, it comes apart. I, I don't even know how I would describe the shell. What would you say? Like kind of a hard candy shell. <laughs> yeah, it's like an M&M. It's hard on the outside and mm -hmm. soft on the inside. <laughs> or a peanut or something, but the inside's soft. So, yeah, I want to get the whole thing off. They can be a little soft on the inside. 
Oh, I think that's gonna be a nice one. And so I'll see if we can just peel this whole thing apart. Sometimes you can't, no. Ah, there we go. So that is the shell, which apparently has some pretty good um, medical benefits or medicinal benefits, I should say. And there is, that's what they call the Aril, A-R-I-L, and that is the edible part. And so it's like a little, I don't know, pumpkin? Something like that, a little white pumpkin. And so you can All see. right, I'm going to come in close. Yep, yep, yep. So you can see this one's pretty firm. Sometimes they're really squishy. It doesn't mean that they're they're bad. They're just a little bit overripe. So I'm going to try to get this whole guy off of here. Oh, there we go. Mmm, this is so delicious. Nice and sweet. Most of these guys don't have a seed in them. So you can just eat them whole. And then there's a couple of seeds in here. And it's funny because... The seeds are different sizes. There'd be like one big seed right there, but the rest of these guys are um, just pop them in your mouth and chew them up. Fantastic. So oh, delicious. Yes, I want one. So. All right, I'll, sa I'll save you one. Thank you. So these guys are great. There's um, some that we've seen in the markets that are <sighs> mm, not quite double this size, but uh, definitely a little bit bigger. And we have heard that there's something called a mangostan and a mangosteen. And we're not really sure which one is which. Doesn't matter. They, I think they're very similar. But that is one of our favorite fruits now. And we've got it on our property. Yay! Found this little guy in my studio this morning. I'm probably going to scare him away with my sander, but looks like he found a nice quiet spot to rest. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bed it is, but it's small. It's like three inches or something. Kind of cool though. Little guy's trying to catch a nap in my studio. On one, one, one of my workbenches. Sorry, it's noisy. All right guys, this is my latest project here. So I needed some place to put all of our equipment for the garden. And so I made myself a little uh, outdoor shovel and stuff stand. And it's kind of fun because it's all found and free materials. So I got some uh, uh, ABS pipe that I cut down. And so that'll be for some handles. I'm going to put it together here in a minute so you can see what the plan is. And I got some uh, old uh, plumbing fittings and some, some metal plumber's tape holding that together. And then up top, I've got an old, uh, couple old dowels here. I don't know if they were supposed to be closet poles. And then all of the two by fours are scraps left over from the little shed that I took apart uh, where the studio is. So, da -da -da, just so you can see how oh, Larry's lovely garden. So studio, this is the back of the house. So there it is, I'm gonna put it together. All right, load it up, shovels rakes, fruit picker, loppers, breaker bars, machete, all kinds of stuff. Got my garden hoe there, so all these guys don't don't fall over now. Got a nice place to sit and it's movable. So in case we do something else in this part of the house, then I can just take that whole thing and move it. So fun project. Thanks for coming along. Hey, <laughs> okay so we are here with alvaro and we found a new Hello. plant which is so fun it is an air potato it's a papa de aire and so this <laughs> is that is what it looks like we're buying one so we're gonna plant it and it's a vine but we gotta separate them out because they're right there but this is This is the size of it, and it's an air potato. It doesn't grow in the ground, it grows on a vine. So cool. So we'll let you know how it goes. Our morning toucan sighting. It's a big boy up there. We saw him flying over, and now he's just wandering around. Oh, look at that. 
Any day you see a toucan's a good day. That's a big beak to master. Yep. And here we are at the waterfalls on Trace Rio. Not a soul to be found. We're going in. Gorgeous. A little bit bigger than uh, the first time we were here. Well, actually, the second time we were here. Because we were here in the dry season. And now it's not the dry season. <laughs> I've seen it fuller. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go in. Here's a quick look at a couple of the girls that are outside the front um, screened area. And these are my slow stitch coasters. And if I sweep to the left, hmm, <laughs> there's Hudson in his bed. Hudson. Mm, yeah, not gonna look up. Y en la última, sí. En la última también hay que ponerle o esta queda sin nada. 